So uh, I'm Sean Gibson, and um, this is my, I'm the head boys and girls soccer coach. This is my fourth year with Northridge and my 27th year coaching high school soccer in Alabama, um, which is kind of strange. Um, these, both, both of my teams this year um, are going to be experienced. Uh, we, we lost just a few people on, on each team last year. Um, these two uh, people with me, um, Ellis um, Dykes and Ella Johnson, are both leaders of their of their of the teams, and um, they're both uh, very productive offensive players. So you had 20 goals last year, and Ellis had 23 goals last year. So we have um, a lot of returning uh, players who have uh, scored a lot of goals. We have a, a bit of an issue with um, our goalkeeper position in the, on the um, on the boys' side, but the girls um, are very deep, and the boys are deep out, out, outside of that position. So um, we're really looking forward to a um, a big a big season for both of them. Um, our goals are to get back to the, for the girls to get back to the final four. They were there two years ago and lost in the finals, and on the boys' side to get to the final four for the first time since I've been here. I did. That's all. That's all. Yes, I played soccer, and uh, until I, I, I kept playing until I couldn't walk anymore. So, um, so unfortunately, now all I do is pick off. Uh, what are your plans after high school? Do you plan to keep playing soccer? Um, no, I used to want to, like when I was younger, but um, I plan to just go to the University of Alabama. Uh, individually, I mean, just to push myself and play to the, at the best level that I can. And then uh, on a team standpoint, uh, I want us to just kind of play together. And I mean, I'd like to reach Final Four. We uh, didn't make it as far as we wanted to last year, so just beat that. Excuse me? Uh, the same way I approach every season. I, I, I want to win every game. Um, we, I, I did set up a very difficult schedule for both teams um, because I think we're going to be able to compete. And um, we're, you know, we're looking to get back to Huntsville and get to Huntsville. Um, and we do whatever we can, to, and I do whatever I can to help these guys do that, achieve that. Uh. Um, I would say, um, I would hope they would say, describe me as like a good leader, but I think I also bring some of the comical side, try to keep the spirits up at practice and in games. Uh, this is for the coaching and school athletes. How do you separate your personal life from your soccer life? You're asking me? That's for all this of us. You can go first. My, my, I'm sorry, can you repeat it? My personal life? How do you separate your personal life as being a teacher and your soccer life as a coach? Um, they're, well, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I get to see the kids every day in school when I'm teaching. And so I'm acting, even when I'm teaching and I see them in the halls or some of them in my classes, I'm still acting as a coach at the same time, you know, so that they're not really totally separated, I'd say. You want to go next? Same question. I don't know. Hi, and do y'all have a closing statement? Well, we just want to get back to Huntsville. You know, Final Four, once you get there, anything can happen. Once you get there. Thank you, guys.